This unit, Special Types of Printing, focuses on different types of printing process. First, we will discuss about flock printing. Flock printing, it means tiny particles of fibers that is approximately 1 tenth inches to 1 fourth inches are made to adhere to a fabric surface according to particular pattern design. Viscose rayon and nylon fibers are most popular for this type of printing. Here the fibers are dyed prior to flocking. The design is printed with adhesives. The fiber flock is exposed to the fabric. The flock is held to the fabric only in those portions where the adhesives was first applied. There are two kinds of flock printing. First we will discuss about mechanical flock printing. Here, the fiber flock is shifted onto the fabric while the fabric is passing in open width through flocking chamber. Mechanical beaters cause fabrics to vibrate and become the fibers to stick on the fabric. The alignment of fibers in the print pattern will not be uniform. Next we will discuss about electrostatic flocking. Here flock particles are given electrostatic charges. This helps to rest all fibers being oriented in an upright position when they adhere to the fabric. This method is slower and more costly but results in more uniform and denser flock patterns. The ability of flocked fabric to withstand dry cleaning and washing depends upon the quality and characteristics of adhesives. Next we will discuss about warp printing. Warp prints involve printing the warp yarns of a fabric before it is placed on the loom for weaving. The fabric is woven with a solid color weft, usually white or contrast color. The result is a soft and shadowy design on the fabric. Producing warp prints requires careful and skilled labor. These prints are found almost exclusively on high quality and expensive fabrics. Next, we will discuss about burnout printing. Burnout print involves printing the chemical substance like sulfuric acid that will destroy the fiber in the pattern designs in print area. The printed patterns become transparent and stiffer. It is generally used for cotton and viscose rayon fabrics. Fabric are used in low cost summer blouses and cotton lingerie. Interesting designs can be created with various blend composition. Next, we will talk about duplex print. In duplex print, both sides of the fabric have been printed. Most often, they are made to intimate woven yarn dyed design effects such as stripes, checks and plates. They are also used to make imitation jacquard and dobby woven design pattern. It is a very expensive printing. Now, we will discuss about engineered print. These are prints that have two or more distinct patterns, each located in separate areas of the fabric and each designed to become a specific part of the garment. The placement within the print and yardage of each of the design elements must be carefully worked out so that uniform fabric, fabric utilization can be achieved with minimum wastage. Engineered prints are printed by hand screen or heat transfer methods. Cuddy print. Cuddy printing is usually carried out on a dyed fabric with a paste containing a white opaque pigment like titanium dioxide, thus producing a white effect on a colored background. By adding a color pigment, a colored cuddy effect can be obtained. 
when your white pigment like titanium dioxide is printed on a lustrous rayon fabric, a matte pattern on lustrous ground is obtained. This process known as damask printing. White and color cuddy printed on dark ground gives attractive raised pattern resembling discharge or resist effect. The process is very simple and economical. Because of the larger particle size of white pigment, better results are obtained by adopting lower screen meshes. The chart displays the recipe for white khadi. Titanium dioxide, binder and glycerin are mixed well and soaked overnight for better printing results. By adding pigment color up to 6% to the above paste, cocky color effects can be obtained. Other thickenings, thickening agents like MTO emulsion or water-based synthetic paste or requirement can be used. Cuddy print process. First the fabric is to be printed, then dried at 120 degree centigrade temperature. After that, the fabric may be cured at 150 degrees centigrade for 4 to 5 minutes. The harsh feel of excess titanium dioxide and binder can be countered by the use of softeners. To avoid any wet treatment after printing, it is usual practice to print cuddy on print finished fabrics. Cuddy print is best suited for single fiber or blended fabrics. Next, we will discuss about plastisol or thermoplastic inks. The inks are produced by blending vinyl chloride dispersion resin with high boiling point organic solvents, plat plasticizers, pigments, etc. The dry ingredients are in suspension and when the ink is subjected to heat, the resin particles soften, swell and absorb the liquid part melting together forming a film on the fabric. To make them more permanent, plastisol inks are dried and polymerized by the application of heat. Here two types of printing are employed. Using inks which is directly applied to the fabric. Using plastisols in transfer paper. Here white PVC is used for white prints. Pigment inks are used for color prints. Advantages. The main advantages of plastic prints are, it has high opaque built up and flexibility. They give bright colors directly on dark grounds. These prints have better fastness. It is used for all kind of fabrics and surfaces. Plastisol inks are easy to use. T-shirts with fancy prints occupy a major role because of permanency, brightness and attractiveness. The main disadvantages are they do not withstand dry cleaning. When ironed at high temperature, the design remelts. Next, we'll discuss about rubber print. Rubber print here, PVC polymer based plastisols, even though they offer bright, attractive, and opaque prints, are prone to cracking effect due to rigidity of polymer layer. This problem is evident in printed t shirts or children wear that any flexing in usage cracks the prints, apart from horse feel of printed portions. In order to overcome this defect, modern plastisols formulations are made with copolymer of PVC and butodyne or polyurethane. This system renders flexibility of printed film during usage without cracking and gives elasticity to the prints. Next, we will discuss about foam or puff print. Foam binder consists of an opaque polymer emulsion of printable viscosity containing a blowing agent. This agent decomposes on application of heat liberating nitrogen gas. Foam or puff printing process. Here, first the fabric is to be printed and dried at 90 to 100 degrees centigrade. After that, the fabric may be cured at 150 to 160 degrees centigrade for 15 to 30 seconds. During this stage of curing, the blowing agent present in the paste decomposes and the liberated gas raises the polymeric film at printed portion. 
which gives an embroidery look. The volume is increased to 50 times on blowing up. Colored effect can be obtained by using pigments. The fluorescent pigments are available in powder form. Direct mixing of fluorescent pigments in the foam binder results in non-uniform prints. It is recommended to make first a smooth paste of the fluorescent colors with pigment printing binder and then mix them with foam binder. The overall effect resembles raised embroidery pattern. Pearl print. Metallic prints, even though they are offer shine and luster, are marked by horse feel on the printed portions. This can be overcome by pearl prints. This system involves binder, fixer and catalyst compounds along with titanium dioxide. The extra shine is enhanced by incorporation of pearlescent salts like lead carbonate, bismuth oxide, chloride or bismuth trichloride. This combination is called pearl print. This can be used in self as white pearl or in combination with pigments to get multicolor or metallic effects with soft fill. This, this is the process for pearl print. First print the fabric and dry it at 120 degree centigrade and cure it 150 degree centigrade for 4 to 5 minutes. Next we will discuss about glitter print. These printing differ from metallic like you know gold, silver and copper or pearl prints. The particle size of the glitter powder is much bigger around 250 to 500 microns compared to metallic or pearl powders. The effect of glitter prints is therefore more prominent compared to metallic or pearl prints. There are two types of glitter powder, metallized polyester film glitter and anodized aluminum glitter powder. Metallized polyester film glitter, the color of this glitter powder is non-resistant to solvents. Anodized aluminum glitter, the glitter powders have hiding power, therefore it can be used on white and dark grounds. The effect is much better on dark grounds. There are three possibilities of obtaining glitter prints. Method 1. Direct printing. The first method uses suitable binder system. The mesh of the screen should be large enough to allow the passage of glitter particles in the form of design. Method 2. The second method prints the blank transparent binder paste while it is still in wet condition sprinkling the glitter powder through screen or directly onto the wet print. The powder adheres to the wet print paste in the form of design. The subsequent drying and curing fixes the glitter print. Method 3. The third possibility is through film release transfer technique. In this technique, the glitter is embedded in the form of design on a release paper between two transparent layer of thermoplastic polymer film. The design is then transferred onto the fabric under action of heat and pressure. Leathery print. The leathery effects on garments can be introduced using binders based on polyurethane. This will give a shiny and leathery effect with some stretchability. When printed with metal gauge screen with deeper engraving, they give three dimensional raised effect on garments. Letterings and prominent motifs are printed in this style. Next, we'll talk about laser print. This is done by overprinting with laser binders on dyed grounds. Tonal variation between printed and unprinted areas can be obtained. The light refractive index resin present in the binder system gives a dark tone in the printed areas than ground color. You have come to the end of this unit. To summarize, in this unit you have learnt about flock printing, war print, burnout printing, duplex print, engineered print, cuddy print, plastic print, rubber print, foam or puff print, pearl print, glitter print, leathery print and laser print. Thank you.